this is my son Karim. He's 12. When he's one, I put him in front of the piano. Karim was very excited and very happy to discover that playing with the keyboard creates sound. And I should well admit, I was happy too. But at five and six, my Karim, who can play music for hours, he cannot stay in front of a math problem more than two minutes. I certainly understood that the traditional education is not for him. So I start to be very concerned, to worry, and I start to wonder, how can I use his fantastic creative abilities to support his learning and education? That's why I started to develop tools and to develop manual activities for him. And that's why the creativity became my field of research. My name is Slim Masmoudi. I'm a cognitive scientist, and I work at the University of Tunis. The question that drives me is how to integrate cognition, emotion, and motivation to understand the creative thinking process and to enhance the learning experience of the children. And this is the question at the heart of the method I created. It's called the MIL, Multisensory Implicit Learning Method. I applied this method to two areas, learning to read and musical awakening. Today, I'm very pleased to let you discover how I applied this method to musical awakening. So, how did I develop it? I started to compare what I call the Karen phenomena with the cognitive science research. I realized quickly that when Karim uses his body, moves and touch, he's more engaged and more happy with his learning experience. So I understood that there is a huge gap between what uh, makes Karim and the other children happy uh, while learning spontaneously and what the current educational system has to offer. You see, when the body is engaged, children are more happy and more ready to acquire new skills. This question is very important uh, for me, and I go ahead to develop this method. Uh, there are three things to remember about this method. One, this method uses the five senses to learn. It de develops creativity, and then generates positive emotions. This method led pupils very happy and very engaged by their learning experience. Let's begin with the first one, learning using the five senses. How do we activate the five senses? Muna, who is a musicologist, comes to classroom once a week. She animates a musical awakening course. But how does we do that? And how does the magic operate? We begin with developing active learning and active listening. We start with activities called hunting sounds in nature. Muna brings children out for walk so children can feel, touch, manipulate, and can discover, observe, and analyze sounds like they hear in nature. And Muna guides the perception of sounds with questions and feedbacks. We do that, in fact, outside and inside the classroom. So back in the classroom, the children are asked to remember and recognize the different sounds. Next, we work with touching the flashcards. We use and we play 3D flashcards so children can manipulate these flashcards and play with different musical parameters like pitch, intensity, duration, and so on. So to point to high pitch, they should find, for example, the bird flashcard. And to point to high duration, they should find, for example, the continuous rain flashcard, and so on. So playing with the flashcards make children more able to connect the senses and the data from the senses to the musical parameters. So that's what we call the learning with senses. 
Then we use other tools, different tools such as boxes, bottles, or rolls with different sizes, shapes, colors, and textures. We use also a tray filled with grains, these grains in bottles with different sizes and textures, from beans to cumin to oregano. The children are, have the possibility to touch, to smell, and to taste these grains, and to connect them to musical parameters. So, for example, uh, a little amount of uh, grains in bottle uh, can be connected to a musical parameter, let's say, the pitch. So a little amount of grains is connected to high pitch. And uh, for, for example, the low, the low pitch is connected to or related to a big amount of grains, and so on. So uh, children have the opportunity to use the five senses to learn the musical parameters without learning explicitly these parameters. Then we use another tool we call the carpet with sounds we touch. So the whole body is engaged to explore the carpet. The hands touch the textures. There are raw textures, uh, there are smooth textures, and the children listen to sounds and uh, learn how to connect this sound to different textures, shapes, colors, and so on. So, for example, a smooth texture is associated to a low intensity, and raw uh, textures are associated to high intensity, and so on. Second, let's speak about creativity. Creativity is very important in this method. And not only children learn musical concepts with, without explicitly learning these concepts, but this method increases children's creativity. But actually, what is creativity? We focus on three aspects of creativity, originality, fluidity, and flexibility. When we have creativity, we often mean originality. That's a given. So the method increases the ability of children to combine, to produce new combinations of sound, to play with the musical parameter and to connect them to the senses. When we evoke creativity, we also mean fluidity. Fluidity is the ability to produce a large number of solutions, of similar solutions related to a common theme. And finally, creativity means also flexibility. Flexibility is the ability to produce different solutions related to a common theme. And in, the, in this method, using senses other than ears to describe what we hear is the flexibility. Third, let's talk about emotions. And this method changes the way the children interact with the world. Tests prove that there is increasing of positive emotions. So children are more engaged and more happy in their activities. I will always uh, remember <coughs> this kid who told me, if all what I learn is like that, I will be happy all the time. And this really reflects the uh, benefits of this method on the well-being of the children. So finally, implicit learning activates the physical, the intellectual, and the emotional intelligence all together. This really changes the way the children are interacting with the reality. And the multisensory implicit learning method implements very well this idea. It uses senses for learning, it develops creativity, and nourishes children's positive emotions. MIL is also universal. It works for any language and for any culture. And my dream is to share this method with all the children of Tunisia, the Maghreb, Arabic countries, and the entire world. And I'm here today to uh, uh, speak about this story, to share this story with you, so each and every one of you can make these simple techniques their own. My, my dream also is to continue to implement these techniques in kindergartens and furthermore to generalize that to schools. 
So do not give up on the three key senses that give you the most pleasant experience. So use your senses to learn. Touch, smell, test your life fully. Thank you very much. Thank you.